Well, we're at the 2013 Cattle Industry Convention in Tampa, Florida, and I'm speaking with Woody Larson, who is the president of the Florida Cattlemen's Association, and he's a, a cattle producer from South Florida in the Okeechobee area. Correct. And Woody, I wonder if you could tell us first uh, about your operation, and then we'll talk a bit about the uh, some of the activities that the Florida cattlemen have going on as you know, the hosts of uh, the convention this year in Tampa. Okay. John, we have we have the Dixie Ranch in Okeechobee. Uh, it's an old established ranch there, and uh, there's about 2,500 cow cow calf herd. Uh, we raise calves and we precondition them and and sell them as preconditioned weaned calves. I'm also in the dairy business. I have dairy farms as well, so uh, we kind of see both sides of the business. And of course, dairy producers are also beef producers, and I'm sure that that's something that uh, you're probably pretty pretty well uh, involved in, in in marketing those uh, those steer calves and and culls into the into the beef process. That, that's correct. We uh, obviously have cows um, that we sell, and we then we have uh, steer calves. We raise Holstein steers and sell them too. So. So it seems like the, the Florida cattlemen have a lot going on here at the convention as uh, kind of the, the, the host organization with, the, with, it, with it being in Tampa this year. Why don't you tell us you know, what, uh, what sort of activities or what you're going to be involved in here at the, at the convention? Well, we're really excited to have NCBA here in Tampa, Florida. It looks like that we're going to have a, a blue sky week. We're going to really have some nice weather for the folks, and uh, we're excited to have them. You know, NCBA has been around a long time over 100 years of making policy for the cattle business and we as the host state have been getting ready for this event for over a year now. Uh, we have kind of a host booth here that right behind us and where we encourage people to stop stop in and just visit, just talk with us. Mm -hmm. And understand that uh, the Florida cattlemen have put together an exhibit that uh, helps educate especially young people about the, the cattle business in Florida and that that exhibit is uh, They've traveled around a bit and is now going to be here at the state fairgrounds in Tampa. That's right. One of the things that makes Florida unique is we have a lot of people in Florida. We're now like the third largest state in people. So we did this about five years ago, put together an exhibit to educate young people and adults about the cattle business, uh, cattle ranching in Florida, how important it is, some of the history, and now that's been turned into a museum museum exhibit and it has a permanent home at Florida State Fair which is also here in Tampa. And cattle ranching certainly has a, a long history in Florida and, there, and it's still one of the one of the biggest cow calf states. Just to give you a little history Florida this year is celebrating 500 years of discovery that was discovered in 1513. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, only about eight years after that, Florida were, uh, cattle were introduced into Florida, and those were the first cattle in North America. So we're kind of proud of that. Well, I understand that the Florida cattlemen have a, a book that really helps detail some of the history of, of cattle ranching in Florida. We were talking about the museum exhibit, and this is a catalog or, or just a good picture book and a narrative about that uh, exhibit. It's an excellent, excellent take home piece as a souvenir of Florida cattle ranching it's a I would highly recommend it and that's available right here at your at your exhibit outside the trade show that is that's is correct it's available for purchase